Switzerland plans to organize a global peace summit before this summer. The country's foreign minister has said at the UN General Assembly. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky proposed to hold the summit as early as early as December 2022. The goal is to implement the Ukrainian peace formula. Kyiv will invite more than 160 states to the first global peace summit. The head of the office of the president, Andriy Yermak, said during the Ukraine year 2024 forum. The Chinese ambassador to Switzerland also said that Beijing is considering taking part in it. China is in favor of promoting peace negotiations and has always been committed to that. We have also put forward a strategy for the political settlement of the conflict. The territorial sovereignty of all countries should be respected and the UN Charter should be honored. All parties should work toward ending the war. The crisis must be prevented from worsening or even getting out of control. Wang Shichting, Chinese ambassador to Switzerland in a comment to the Neue Zürcher Zeitung newspaper. However, the diplomat immediately noted that China rejects sanctions against Russia. In his opinion, they only create problems. And he said that in order to de-escalate the conflict, it is necessary to, quote, encourage Russia and Ukraine to resume direct dialogue as soon as possible. Analysts also link the upcoming visit of the Chinese leader to France with the promotion of such an idea, citing unnamed officials from Paris and Brussels political rights that Xi Jinping will come to France in early May. The visit may coincide with the anniversary of the establishment of bilateral diplomatic relations. Experts believe that China wants to improve relations with Europe, which are badly affected by the close cooperation between Xi Jinping and Putin. But at the same time, Beijing intends to defend the Kremlin's interests. Officials told Politico recently that China is trying to persuade Europe to let Russia sit at the table for future peace talks, potentially in Switzerland, or Beijing will boycott such meetings. This message was reinforced during the European tour of Chinese special envoy Li Hui from publication in Politico. China cannot afford to lose Europe as an important trading partner because of Putin's war against Ukraine. But at the same time, China does not accept the Ukrainian peace formula and Beijing's proposal do not correspond to Ukraine's interests. For China and from China's point of view, this is a plan developed by the West based on Western principles. China came out with its 12-point initiative and presented an alternative option to the world. It is interesting interested in following and monitoring the moods of Western countries that are involved in these discussions of the peace formula, but it is not interested in actually implementing it at this stage. China has reacted sharply to the European Union's decision to put Chinese companies on the sanctions list because of ties with Moscow. But on the other hand, the loss of the European investment would be a disaster for the Chinese economy. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska and Andriy Dmitrenko, UATV News.